This was reflected in the food guide pyramids where suddenly bread, pasta, potatoes, rice, all these foods that in the early 1960s were still considered uniquely fattening were now foods that should be the staple of our diets. When they came up with the dietary goals, and they were based on weak science, and there was a lot of pushback from scientists, from nutritionists who said, e even though they agreed with the recommendations, they said, this is a bad idea because we don't have the science to support this kind of experimentation on the public. It did not matter. The public and the media swallowed it hook, line, and sinker. There was not one clinical trial to see whether that diet would make us healthier than if we continued to eat our fatty diets, which was considered to be so detrimental and dangerous. Not one single clinical trial. And the scientists at the time, who were independent of industry and government, warned that. They said, we haven't had these trials. How can we expose the American public to this giant experiment unless we know what the outcome will be? Well, the reality is, 30 years later, we know exactly what the outcome is, has been. As it turns out, all this carb loading was not such a good thing. Grains, whether whole or refined, trigger elevated insulin levels. Remember Mr. Pancreas? With the elevated insulin response comes increased hunger. But perhaps one of the most significant side effects from eating grain-based foods is inflammation. Inflammation is your body's natural response to invaders it perceives as threats. If you get a cut, for instance, the process of inflammation is what allows you to heal. When your arteries are damaged, a very similar process occurs, except the scab in your artery is known as plaque. This plaque, along with the thickening of your blood and constricting of your vessels, can increase your risk of high blood pressure and heart attacks. Think of cholesterol a bit like a scab inside of your body. So when your arteries become damaged, your body releases cholesterol to patch them up. The cause of cholesterol's release is inflammation, which is caused in large part by eating sugary and starchy edible products. When the arterial lining, what we call the endothelium, becomes damaged by becoming oxidized, then cholesterol appears on the scene to help put the fire out. Understanding how refined carbs increase the damage to your circulatory system sure blows a hole in the myth of the so-called heart-healthy diet. 